Hello and welcome to Twitch. Um, are we gonna have a beautiful dark screen? Here we go. MGF versus Brian Danielson, and Brian Danielson is the brand new star. Is our second person we got from the expedition, and um, yeah, right off the bat, brand new titles in an effect: the U.S. titles against MGF and Brian Danielson. Um, Kind of an interesting start, kind of like jumping to jump into it. I feel like I need to get a little bit more of an intro going, maybe like a little pre-little pre show sometimes, or like let them come in. I feel like the entrance might save me a little bit. But, yeah, a lot of championships on the line today. Um, what I've decided on the tournament fan, I've been talking about the YouTube tournament, and I was like, you know what, we're not going to have time to end up getting the Twitch tournament. We should just do, like, it has to be the best best of the best so what i've decided to do this is going to be the official and final seder schedule we have twitch tonight and then next we have our uh japan event uh on saturday then it would have been youtube next what we'll do on youtube is we'll have a normal show Kind of, we had a whole bunch of titles stuff that we were going over and, and stuff like that. And I want to continue those storylines so they don't get lost. And instead, what we'll do is the next Twitch will start our tournament. Now, there's like, the way that it's going to be set up, there's going to be plenty of matches and stuff. But we'll have just tournament matches between the two and then split up some of them when, um, you know, like, I think there'll be like one or two that we'll have to uh, face against the other brand. But I think that's the best way of doing it, so that we can know who's the best of the best. Oh my god, clothesline by Brian Danielson. And yeah, welcome in. Brian Danielson is our free agent signing. We picked up Kenny Omega and Brian Danielson. Great pickups. I mean, for only winning two matches, I there was a lot that we missed. Like, a lot. Trust me on that. But I am happy that we got him. And uh, we shall see how this goes. As he gets knocked down. There we go. One. Just one. Just one. So we got the U.S. title for men's. And then up next will be the women's title for the U.S. Uh, we have both world titles at the end of the show on the line. And, um, yeah, some tag action in the middle. But those titles will be uh, holding on um, for the time being. The Hardys are in the house. Coming from YouTube over here. Oh, that's brutal. But yeah, next up we have Mandy Rose versus Lovecraft for the uh, the U.S. Women's Title. And then tonight, we'll later on, we'll have Juliet Hart versus Jade Cargirl for the Women's Title. You know, they've kind of have a little bit of a rivalry going. It's been kind of just a squash fest, but. Uh, she said, uh, well, Juliet said, if you're going to try to go after me, you better put something on the line. And uh, Jade Cargill, uh, you know, decided, hey, you want the title? Come get it. So she'll defend her title for like the third time and uh, see if she can hold on to it. As also Reaper will have the title on the, game, on the line against Malachi Black at the very end of the show. And MGF gets a back here. I haven't even got to really comment on this match. It's just been back and forth. A lot of submission type holds, just some brutal, brutal stretches. Here we go. One, two, and Brian Danielson is trying to hold on to his, you know, win. You know, get a win here, first ever match in Daikon. MGF looks like he's gonna jump from the top. Ooh, big chop down. It's interesting to just have like straight off the match Brian Danielson comes in for the US title. It, it felt it felt right. You know, it felt that, you know, it would be a, a great opportunity and MGF has had some really good matches. Felt like a good, you know, good way to start that off. Going with those kicks. Another submission grab. It might be working here. Brian might not have anything he can do about this. 
Like being in the middle of the ring, you're gonna have to get fully out of this. Does he got something? Oh, he gets out of it. As Brian Danielson gets to his feet. There we go. Ooh, right to the face. And I think with the men's tournament, what I've, I've figured out with the amount of men that we have and stuff, um, six people we're gonna buy that should be the two world champions and the both tag champions. So I guess it'll just kind of depending on how the House of Black, if you know how what they want to do with that, because they could uh, essentially you know change up a few things. The other exciting thing that we I, I want to bring up, um, we'll bring up in the next match, because MGF is looking to finish this off. He's working on Brian. I don't know if Brian's got it. Might be a little rusty. It's been a little bit since he's wrestled last. MGF goes for it. One, two, three. MGF is our U.S. champion. Let's see this belt. Here is your winner, and new WWE Men's United States Champion, MJF. A brutal loss for our now former champion. Barry, congratulations to MJF. Here we go, Morgan versus Mandy. Straight into this, oh, just straight into this bet match for the United States Championship. Oh, as Lovecraft knocks her down. Lovecraft has been kind of on a hot streak, and, you know, she was trying to get an opportunity to get that world title, but just seemed to bet kept getting skipped over. But here's an opportunity she has. Oh, amazing job there. Morgan versus Mandy could be a very interesting matchup. I feel like they have similar fighting styles and a lot of mobility, so it could be really interesting what we see here. Oh, Morgan goes right after, over the top. Holy crap. That is brutal, but very cool. Now, the other announcement we had, we wanted to bring up, it might be in a week or two. Depending, we're gonna have a, a a little bit of like a Friday house type show, kind of like how NXT is to uh, the WWE, like kind of a minor league type system type thing, and uh, just just some matches, some of some like you know creative characters that and you know like new new wrestlers that you know the community can vote on to uh, see if they ever make it to the roster or anything like that. Um, more than likely, it'll be like a non-commentator thing. We'll just leave the commentation on and watch the matches together type of thing but i'm thinking that's what we're gonna have and we'll, we'll get that set up pretty soon we have so many events right now i don't want to i don't want to overdo it and have put too much on the plate but because we still have our japanese event which will be next after this on saturday and then we have our pay-per-view that we had to call back probably be after the tournament one just one, just one. Not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. She's got the whole WWE Mandy versus Morgan here. Ooh, elbow right to the face. I don't think Morgan was quite expecting that. Uh -oh. Well, Morgan's gonna make Mandy pay for this. Uh, Mandy Rose counters, knocks her down. Let's see what we got here. One, just one. Mandy's had a little bit of a rocky start because, like, she's had opportunities for the tag titles and um, hasn't they haven't quite got over. So this would be a great opportunity to get a belt across her waist, and you never know when that tag opportunity would come back up. If even if her and Nikita Lyons are even a tag partners anymore, is Nikita's in tag matchup later, but with a different partner, she might have already skipped over using uh, Mandy. As Morgan is just annihilating her right now. She's waiting for her. With a big right arm. Tries to grab her, misses there. Starts goring her a little bit. 
You can feel the hunger in Morgan right now. She wants this. Mandy's got to turn this around really fast or she's going to be in a lot of trouble. Oh, well, that, that definitely helps. The U.S. title is on the line. Being the first ever holder of this title would be a, a, a very cool accomplishment for either one of these women. Ooh, Mandy goes bouncing off the brawl. Throws her off the wall again. We've seen matches stuck like this before. Oh, is this another stuck spot? I gotta get out of here. This could be a count out. Man, he's gotta get back in the ring. This just might be a count out. Nobody's paying attention. They're just annihilating on each other. This is gonna be a count out. As they're just stuck. Wow. What a disappointing match. They kind of just got stuck there, and that's all it is. I think, do we think we, we go for the rematch here? I think we go for the rematch here. I say we restart it. It counts. We'll call the ref back down. Let's get them in here. Let's go do this again. This is, uh, we're not going to go with a draw right there on stuck on the corner. Now that these women are already tired, now they're going to go for a second bout. They okay, two both go in there. Can't send this this crowd, you know, home unhappy. I know it's only second match of the night, but they deserve better than this. Ooh, that was a big kick. I mean, they're already a little tired from already having this match. But we'll see how this works out. Oh, big kick right there. First time I think I've ever seen a double draw, but that section of the of the, the ring is, is pretty messed up. Mandy hops back out there. Hoping we don't. If we get another draw, we're just going to leave it at that, and both women won't have the opportunity for the title. Run kicks back Mandy. Suplex. Oh, Morgan misses that big, like, that was a big slap. That would have helped a lot. Gets her up again. Okay, sends her in, thank God. Okay, Morgan, you gotta get yourself back in there. This match is coming down to the it's going to reset the count. The Just fight inside the ring. There we go. Morgan froze her into the corner. Just, a ruthless Just working on those punches. Just Not kicks good. after that. That just feels so brutal. It was a pin. One. Ah, uh, just a one. It's pretty crazy to have a draw and then them going for a second rematch on this. Oh, nice, nice grab. Oh, and kick by M Mandy. Morgan struggles to her feet, but Morgan gets the counter right here. Big punch. Just knocks her down. Morgan's showing off to the crowd a little bit. Mandy does not like it and goes right immediately back up to work on her. Mandy slams her down. Here comes the pin. One, two. It's kind of close. A lot closer than I expected. Mandy seems to have this one in control so far. This is, I think, a, a spot right here. What do you got? Ooh, Morgan counters. I think that that could have been ending if if, if Mandy would have landed that. Going in for a pin. One, two. Maddie kicks out. Yeah, 
Yeah, having double matches has made it rough. Morgan working on her again. Ooh. That stomp is brutal. I think most of this match has been just spent out here. The knees to the face out there. Like snow give to the ground underneath it. Ooh, right there too when you land on it. And Mandy misses that. I think that was a great opportunity there to uh, do something else. Finally get back into this ring as Morgan gets to the top rope. Oh, she's going to go backwards. And she nails it. Here comes the pin. One. Two. So close. Morgan wanted that one. That could have been that could have been it. Here we go. Good night. Two. Morgan gets off and out again. Wow. I mean uh Mandy. Let's see what Morgan's got in her tank left. She's waiting for Mandy to get up to her feet. Grabs her before she even fully gets out there. Mandy struggles to get to her feet. She doesn't see it. it slams her down again. One, two, three. Morgan Lovecraft wins the U.S. title. Let's see her claim her belt. Very well deserved. A very good match. Mandy did good. Uh, it took two, two chances, but we got a good match out of it. Next up, tag team action. The Demon Sisters versus Nikita Lions and Reyna. New team of Reyna and uh, Nikita Lions. Could see how this goes. Reyna's had some pretty, some pretty good matches. Had a chance for the women's title. And Nikita's you know, faced off against the Kobayashi Sisters. We have Urena and Akira out there today with a cane on the sideline. Having a stable of three for a tag team really does help. You can rotate out, and that's why the Demon Sisters have been so so powerful. And not to mention with uh, like even the men's division with the House of Black. Now they have four people that can switch. As Buddy Matthews is here today to complete the House of Black with Pitch Black joining, you know, at the beginning of our Icon run. And, you know, the four are doing some stuff. Nikita's going to get that tag. Reyna's had some really strong outings here. I like to see what she's going to do here in tag team. She's been kind of a solo act. Ooh, that kick. Going to get attacked to Akira. Ooh, big miss by Reyna there. That, that, if that kick landed, that could have been really brutal. Ooh. Working on that neck already. Of oh, big slap. She was taunting her a little bit. Ooh. One, just a one, but man, that kick was brutal to the face. It'd be cool to see the Kobayashi sisters in this uh, tournament that's coming. Um, you know. They're gonna have the opportunity. I think with our women's division, I think only one, only one person needs to sit out. We'll have to decide on who or if anybody wants to personally sit out. Ooh, that's a big kick to the face. Or we'll have to make one a triple threat match, maybe. That could work too. And Akira just working on that face, trying to push Reyna away from the the tag. And I think that's how you know that you know you've, you've played some really good tag matches. I think she was looking for the tag, but she decided not to. Gonna go after Nikita instead. 
Kicks her right in the face. She waited for Reyna to get up here and get inside the ring again. She's going to meet her instead. A little bit of a trap there. She's got to get out of it. She can't count. You know, she can't submit. Kira tries to get out of it. That guillotine was brutal against Jade Cargill when they had their title match. Are we stuck in this random corner again? Let's get out of there. There we go. There we go. Let's get out of that corner. I'll punch and knock down Nikita Lyons again. Throws her down instead. Reina's going to attack, but sister comes to save her, but Reina again just traps her. Broken out by Urena. Reina froze her over. Oh, oh. Work on that leg and that knee. Here comes a pin, though. One. Just one. Both of these... Uh, women have challenged for the women title, or the women's title so far in this Icon run. And I think that's a, that was a pretty cool matchup. But as soon as I say that, Nikita comes in. Ooh, misses that drop kick though. Oh, that, that, that stomp at the end. Nikita gets her thrown into this corner. Raina coming right back in. I don't think Akira knew who was the active person there, but does counter and get out of there anyways. Reina with the chop and the elbow. And then right back reverse. I could definitely would, would pay to see a solo match between these two. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason. She's gonna get the tag here, I think. Good tag. Gives Arena an opportunity to get in there. Immediately picked up picked off by Reina. You Reina and Reina, that's gonna get very confusing to say. Big chops to the chest right there. She's got Reyna. Reyna's trying to get the tag. Gets the tag over there to Nikita. Nikita just starts beating on her face. She gets the tag. Wow, what a what a kind of stealth. Tag there. It's a, it's Akira just stomps on Nikita. Tosses her with that hair toss. Kane over there cheering. Gets the tag off to Arena though. We'll wait for her to get back into this ring, it looks like. Slams her down. Oh, she gets the tag off though to Arena though. Ooh, both that I don't know if that was a miss or a dodge, but that was a very crazy thing. And slams down Arena there. Reina trying to get to the corner, try to get out, maybe get a breather. Reina already working on her. Pretty good tag match so far. I wouldn't say really either one has an advantage yet. Ooh. You can kind of hear that crack in it. One. I've kicked even before Akira made it over there. Oh, the miss! Oh, Urena had the had it. She had the reversal and missed it, but she does still recover from that. 
Just working on Reyna's face here. Reyna could use a tag. Kicks her down. Oh, to the top rope here. And that's it. Get over there for the pin. I think you got it. Unstetch is going to get the tag. Wow. I guess that's the longevity. You kind of knew maybe that they didn't think that was going to be enough. Because Reyna's already back up on her feet and attacking. Ooh, this is this is rough. Kira's getting out of it though. Slams are down. Again, right into it. The way that she can reverse that right into an uh, offensive move is pretty crazy. Reyna kind of gets her out of it. I want to get disqualified here. Reyna feels like she's on her own. I don't know if Nikita's hurt. Oh, sprays her. Ref didn't see it, I guess. Reyna goes to the top rope. And she's got the pin. This would be the end, but Reyna's going to probably block it. And she does. She gets around the ref. That was a close. That was a close call there. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Reina's kind of on her own right now. Ah, Reina gets out of gets out of the jam by getting breaking up the pin. Reina's having to do everything. I'm pretty sure Nikita is hurt the way that she's kind of standing over there. Maybe she could take a few more of a breather and she'll be able to get out of this. Oh, right into the face. That's the only issue. Reyna has got some better moves going on right now. But she is knocked. I think that's it. One. Two. Reyna is going to take harder. It's going to take something worse than that to knock her out. Reyna struggles to get to her feet. Here we go. Tosses her down. Be interesting to see all the Kobayashi sisters be in their own solo matches for this tournament. One, two, three. The Demon Sisters win. Next up, Orange Cassidy versus Shinsuke Nakamura. A very, like, physical matchup about to happen here. Shinsuke misses there. See what Orange Cassidy has. This could possibly, like, be an opportunity for, like, the number one contendership for the U.S. title or even the world title, depending on how it goes. And it's just a way to show off before this tournament. You kind of want to win. Maybe you'll get a higher seating against a lower opponent. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work. Nakamura not shaken one bit by the presence of his opponent. And a nice takedown. But yes, we'll have, we'll have the tournament start next Thursday. Next Thursday will be the start of the tournament. The Twitch side of things will kick off. I think we'll have, what, what? Four women's match? Five men's matches or something like that? And then we'll we'll go up to the YouTube side, and then we'll we'll go from there until we get to um, you know, no more. One, two. That was a quick two count. Like, like there could have been maybe a third little one that squeezed out there, but 
arsenal of strikes, but one of them stands above the rest. The Kinshasa. Does Nakamura's legendary knee strike factor into tonight's match? Absolutely. It's it's the oh, finally Orange Cassidy gets back on here. Said, Shinsuke has a variety of additional punches, kicks, and strikes he can call upon to take control of this match. It's all about picking the right way. Oh, throws Orange Cassidy over the top there. The oh, across the top rope. As Orange Nakamura Cassidy goes off. I think with having like Brian Danielson here, it really does change like everything up because like it just adds another big name to this men's division, and everybody's looking for somewhere to go here. The tag division got way better with the Hardys coming in, and I think we got a lot more overall with different you know teams and different you know like you know solo matches and stuff. And with the U.S. title now, uh, thing, we also have something else that a lot of other guys can go for. Ooh, slams him into that stairs. That that sounded brutal. Shinsuke ready to get lethal on his opponent. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. This guy was kind of just sitting there. I don't. That ended up being kind of bad for him. Cassidy get, is going to pull him up to that top rope. Or looks like the, the second rope. Second rope. That's what I meant to say. One. And Shinsuke's out. It'll be interesting how the seating works on the men's side too, because like we got some really cool matchups that could possibly happen. Working on that leg, but it looks like Shinsuke is gonna pull him out. Shinsuke Nakamura gets back up to his feet. Big drop kick there. I don't think Orange Cassidy saw it. Just to recap earlier events, MGF is the new U.S. title holder. A very big win over Brian Danielson. Morgan Lovecraft beat Mandy Rose for the U.S. title, and we had a tag match just a second ago with the Kobayashi sisters defeating Nikita Lyons and Reyna. Oh, he's ready. He's ready for this. I think this is it. Going in for the pin. I think that's all we wrote. One. Two. Orange gets out of it, though. I thought that was... I, I thought everybody could pack it up and get go get some snacks from the stands until the next match started. Shishka gets out of that. Orange just seems to, to not have whatever together right now. And Shinsuke knows it. Another big punch. Shinsuke going to the top rope. Ooh, misses there. Only a big punch, God. Orange gets back into the fin. Yeah, work on Shinsuke's knees because if he can't use that knee against you, that's going to help out a lot. Ooh. Connects with a giant one. Shinsuke might be out for a second there. And Orange gets in. This guy knocks him down again. Is he going to set it up again? Ooh. Very cool there. To the top rope. And he gets the elbow down. One. Two. Orange gets out, though. Cassidy survives. Orange gets right back up, though. This guy was trying to take a second. I think he's done that twice now where he's had to take a break. It's going to wait for Orange... I was going to say it's a good way for him to get back up, but no, he goes right after him. 
I think that's it with the landslide. Oh, he's gonna go to the top rope instead. Okay. He's not gonna go for the pin there. I was a little surprised. Now, now that's it. One, two, three. Shinsuke Nakamura with the win. Next up, we got Joe Fang versus Phantasma. A uh, very interesting and match. Kind of like a striker versus a high flyer. Like a fire. Let's see this how this goes. Right Ooh, big knee to the face right off the bat. But he's tasked with quite the challenge in the form of his competitor. Phantasma trying to kind of get back WWE onto roster. track. We had a uh, title match not too long ago. And uh, Joe Fang just trying to decide, or not, not decide, but figure out where he's, where he is on everything. So these two definitely want to show off. It's just punishing the knee, shot after shot I mean, they'll have the tournament soon away. enough to kind of show off anyways, but he's channeling the should be interesting. Oh, I think Phantasma was trying to get kind of a rope thing, but Joe stopped him right there. Ooh, big break right there. One. Just a one. Can't imagine that'd be too much. Fantasma, you know, has, has been a pretty decent you know, tag team with um, I'm going to say it wrong no matter what, aren't they? If I, if I don't think about it, I can say it. But if I think about it and say it, I'm going to mess it up. And Joe thing, I mean... I feel like he's had solid matches. He just hasn't really got that break yet. Quick pin attempt. One for One. He kicks out before the count hits one. two. He isn't gonna go away. Should be interesting easy. to see this uh uh Not you know event this weekend against New Japan and um see the type of uh some matches we can get ourselves into. And Tasma working on this, slides underneath. Gets him. Ooh, nice takedown. Working on Joe Fang's arm right now. I'm, I'm kind of just excited to see this tournament. I'm, I'm like itching to get to it. Obviously, these matchups are, are going to be great themselves, but I think like anything can go on these tournaments. And Tazway waiting for him to get up. Oh, he misses there. Ooh, he knocks him down though. It has wisely gets out. Takes an extra second. Going right after Joe. I feel like Joe would be good if he can get like a faction together or at least a tag team partner. There's a pin. One. Oh, just like one. He just kind of let him go. I didn't even feel like Fantasma got out of there. I just lost his uh, grip. Working right into the submission. He twisted down. I don't know if Fantasma can get that rope. I think he's going to have to try to break it. He does, luckily. I think he realized he wasn't going to get the rope break. Fantasma gets out of there. Yeah, I feel like that's what Joe's missing. He's just missing some group around him. I, I, I feel like that the House of Black is just so massive here that... Uh, on this, you know, brand that it's hard for, for anybody else to get their footing. We're hoping with the Hardys will definitely help that out. Oh, from behind. Slams him down into a pin. One. And then Joe gets out of it. That was a nice uh, counter into a pin, but like it, it wasn't enough. The ultimate sign of disrespect. Joe's got him up for something right here, though. Uh, Fantasma's gonna counter it. Right into a slam. Throwing him like it's nothing right now. The titles will be on the line later, though. That's what I'm, I'm looking forward to. The thing slides out right now. Taz was following him, though. Ooh, Joe moves out of the way. They went for broke on that one. He's either going to be like game changing either way. Ooh, right into the stairs. It's like Joe's going to get back in. Not a bad move on his part. 
Fantastic. Gonna take a couple extra seconds. Don't blame him. Looks like he was trying to grab him, but he jumps over now. Oh, he stop right there and a punch. Taz is up on the back. Big knee to the chest. Just waiting for him to get up. Oh no. That knee to the face is it. One, two, and Tasma's out of it though. Wow. That was such a brutal knee. I thought that was going to be it. Fantasma gets back up, but he's not really fighting back yet. He's got to get a counter. No. Working on that arm again. This is hard to watch. Oof. I need to get back to This one is done. One. Two. And Tasman out again. That is two back to back in pin counts that I, I thought that was gonna be gonna be it. And Taz are trying to bounce back in offense. There's something right there. Immediately just going after Joe Fang, using up whatever energy he has because he knows that his time could be limited. I think Joe, I think Joe needs to, uh, to do a reversal real quick. He's losing his advantage. There we go. So tosses him. Fantasma right back up. It's a really cool like uh, mixture between like us like a striker versus a high flyer right now. He's going for it all. Oh, here we go. Fantasma up to the top. Right into a pin. One. Two. Joe gets out of it. We knew that wasn't gonna end it. Yeah, we, we got more in the tank on both of these men. So go right into that counter. I'm thinking the next massive move by either one of this is probably going to be ending. Like this. One. Two. Fantasma gets out of it. He's had three great breaks this match to get out of you know, certain loss. Slides out for a second. I don't know if Joe's going to attack him out there, but he's got to pay attention. He does not pay attention. Nice twist right there. No, Phantasma. Just working on that knee. That is rough when you feel like that knee slam. Fantasma's got to get up for one, and also they both got to beat this count. I know we're only about halfway there, but you never know. Climbs back inside. I think Fantasma's holding that knee. I don't know if he's going to be able to get back up. Well, Joe's going to go and slam it instead. Didn't want to. Didn't want to end it on the count. He wanted to get that extra move. Fantasma gets the counter and he's starting to get back in offense. Tries to throw Joe back in. I don't think he fully got in. There he goes. He's getting fired up now. Really feeding All right, Fantasma got to get in there. Uh, oh, he went right into the move. That's it. One, two, three. Joe Fang wins here. Next tag up, team tag team matchup. The Hardys now official Twitch uh, match, or the first official Twitch match versus Brody Matthews, Brody King, and Buddy Matthews. The House of Black is now complete. They've got full. Oh, they just start working on it with each other. It slams Matt down. It's, it's, it's interesting. We finally, finally was able to get the whole House of Black together, and I think uh, it's it's going to be very cool.
to see all of them. And then we have the additional pitch black. I think that's going to help a lot. Though, I mean, he might, you know, he might feel just a little out of, you know, the pocket now that the original members are together. So he might want to leave. You never know. He could make a powerful, like, uh, tag team with somebody else, too. Toss back into the ring. Matt gets in there. Matt's just going to immediately go after Brody. <laughs> Buddy. Buddy and Brody. God, this is going to be hard to remember. Brody's in there. Gets tagged to Jeff. Hardy's working on him. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag Jeff Hardy gets him into the corner. Right Slams him down. Oh, no. One. I was hoping that wouldn't be more than one, but you never know. The the House of Black is the current tag team mem uh, champions. You know, they with that faction, they can kind of rotate whoever they want in to defend it. You know, this is a non-title match, but it would be a very big match for the Hardys to win being on this brand new show. I say Twitch's men's tag division is a little weak, but now with the Hardys here, I think it kind of starting to equalize what YouTube was. Oh, they both missed there. Buddy misses that one, though. Was ready for that. So he gets a slam down. So oh, to work on Jeff. Here we go. And from the example you just saw, there is no but I think, landing. Yeah, Great I think it was a good move to get somebody extra over here. And I think the Hardys is going to be a good pick. But we definitely need, we need like a third potential tag. And we need to work on that after the tournament. Yeah, because it'd be weird after the tournament, after you, you lose, you kind of just, we'll just go into some other matches, I guess. I haven't quite decided right there. I don't want to give Happening people off too many weeks off, but I mean, I guess we could always try. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Well, what a close line. I don't like the look in his eye. I don't know, Max going up to the top. Slams it down. He's looking a little off balance. Able to counter. Saves right there. He's gonna get that tag. Comes about it. Ooh. Right to his jaw, man. Oh, Matt's coming back up though. How much he appreciates that. Planning on what to do next. What is Matt gonna do? Gets him into that corner. He looks like he's about to get the tag. Comes Jeff. Yeah, Hardys are just that quintessential tag team that everybody loved back in the day. They still do, and I think the House of Black is one that you kind of root against, so this could be a very interesting rivalry that will probably start right here. Hardys could do a lot for them by winning this match. And could put a legitimate, like, you know, say into, hey, well, we could be the tag team title holders, which the House of Black have had ever since they took it from the MGF and Orange Cassidy. Which now, with, other, with them doing other things, you know, it's kind of like there really isn't another tag team out there. Just working on that hill. Oh, that's so painful. Watch too. Crowd's giving him a nice, nice fin of booze. Don't forget, we got two championship oh, matchups before the, the night is over with. Stretch. We have the, the other House of Black representative, both, well, actually both of them, the feel at heart going in. for the women's title. Is Buddy going to slow him down? I think Buddy might slow him down a little bit. Oh, Matt got in there. Oh, Jeff got in there. That could have been brutal. Jeff slams him down. Kind of stumbles over there, but gets the tag to Matt. Buddy hasn't had a ton of uh, time in here. Oh, Jeff gets a nice little punch there. Riff didn't notice anything. Nice 
And yes, we have the Juliet Hart versus Jade Cargill for the women's title. And Malachi Black versus Reaper for the, for the men's title. Oh, is this it? One. Just one. Just imagine the House of Black securing that. And maybe they could get Pitch Black pushed into an opportunity for the U.S. title. They could, they could run this whole men's division at some point. A go big ways getting that world title secure after tonight. Malachi beat Reaper last year, on, or not last year, last week on a no contest. Or not no contest, a no title. Uh match classic Hardy's right there Stop in the leg. just hit some right in the leg Taking this match off the mat now. Jeff going to the top rope slams down I think Brody's got to get this tag he's in a lot of pain and he has not been able to tag out to Buddy Lee yet or he did it earlier but not from Budge he moves just in time Brody got out of that. Brody gets back to his feet. He doesn't seem pretty, you know, pretty, like, uh, open to go get into the tag, but the Hardys are flipping fast. Maybe it's just, you know, Brody knows Buddy's had a little bit of time to, uh, to relax and all this. He's going to be a pin right here. One, two. Well, like, you might think Buddy's a little rusty and trying to give him a little extra time, but he's, he's got to get something here. The Hardys are just easily flipping back and forth, and I don't think Brody's had much of a, a say in trying to fix that. Is that going to be broken up? Ah, broken up by Buddy. He gets set down to the floor. Throws Buddy over there. That's going to give... It's going to give Brody nobody to be able to tag to. Now just going right after him. Big counter reverse for Brody King right there. And Matt slams it down. He gets tagged in. Quick tag there. Brody, I think, is trying to get to his feet. He's got to get over there and get that uh, tag. He's risking the whole match not getting that tag off. Jeff misses both punches and kicks. Gets caught on that, though. He's going to go over there and tag. I mean, just, for whatever reason, doesn't want it to get the tag off. Ooh, nice cheap shot over there by Buddy. Jeff recovers pretty well from it. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Jeff's gonna go to the top rope. Throws him down. Look at a big man to just toss like it's nothing. Matt gets tagged in here. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to Oh Matt's got some special planned right here. Brody into the corner, but I think whatever he was about to plan didn't work, quite work out. Oh. Brody needs his tag. Look at the Hardys, they just keep flipping back and forth with this. Brody's just been in there for a solid, like, seven minutes. A big counter right here by Brody. A twist of fate, I think it's going to be game. You know, lights out. Unless, uh, you know, obviously broken a tag. Jeff gets out of that one, though. In. Broken up by Buddy. Kind of saw that was going to probably be the thing. He did get the twist of fate, though. The end is in view. 
two, three. Oh my God! The end of days actually worked right there. Wow! I thought I thought Matt was gonna get the breakup, but he didn't. The House of Black is the winner against the Hardys. The title this matches here: Jade Cargill versus Julia Hart. Julia Hart's already had two matches against Jade and lost, but she proved that like she wanted that one more opportunity. She talked a lot of crap in the back, saying that she knew that the third time would be the charm to beat Jade, and Jade, for hardly took the took the challenge and even put the title on the line. She just manhandling Julia. Yeah, I would not want to piss off Jade, and I think that's what she did. I don't know if Julia's going to have much, much she's going to be able to say in this match. Oh, Jade's going to the top rope. That's a big drop, but Jade looks like she's going to get it. Ooh, misses. I thought she was going to hit her. I think she was just a little off there. Jade recovers pretty well. Julia Hart trying to get out of that. Big punch there. The underdog versus Goliath. I would say David versus Goliath probably would have been the better reference right there. Jade goes down right there. Yeah, this Julian Hart representing the House of Black and their their path to try to get all these championships. I uh, I can see it. You know, this is this is where what she has. She has an opportunity here. Malachi has an opportunity for the world title right after this. She's got this submission, but Jade gets out of it. I think that's a way to beat Jade right there, is to try to get her into a submission or turn into something, be like a roll-up or something. I don't think you're going to beat a restraint for anything else. Kind of a buster move on both, both their parts. Julia trying to get back. I mean, she's fought her twice, so she, she should have a pretty good advantage to know what Jade's got. She hasn't really had a close match, but that doesn't mean much when it, the championship's on the line. You kind of live up to it. That is a big kick. And Juliet follows her out. I was going to say, Jade just, you know, being the, the pro, trying to take that extra second out there. But Juliet just closes that gap. But Jade gets right back into this. This is what makes her so dangerous is this strength and this ability to just keep going at it. As Juliet's about to find out. Oh, right onto the back. Look, it's right back up, though. Oh, big punch. We're actually seeing something here from Juliet. Juliet trying to hold on. Big kick. She can get her out. Like. Kana would not help her though. But Jade throws her in there. She doesn't want to win this way. I think she wants to end this rivalry right here, right now. She's struggling to get back to her feet. This feels like her moves are much stronger. Oh, she's trying to hold. What's Julia gonna do? All this pain. Oh my God. Juliet gets out. And Julia. I think I'm saying Julia and Juli Juliet at the same time half the time. But you get what I mean. I would not want to piss off Jade. She's just tossing her around. One. Two. Yeah, that was a solid two and a half. Almost three right there. Jade, Jade wanted to end this quickly. She was telling the backstage that she figured she'd get her under five minutes. She still got a minute though. Oh, hits her with that right arm. Really trying to run. Jade gets up to that top rope. She gonna jump on her. She got a fell, but she got the. Still got it. That could have been devastating for both of them. And she slides her back to the man. Taking that extra second there to get a breather. Solid strategy. Oh, she's waiting. 
She she knows that five minute timer is coming close, so she's trying to end it right here. Adrian gets the counter and goes for the knee. I think Jade was showing off a little bit on that strength, and it gave Julia, Julia just enough. Well, she throws her down anyways. And we've gone over the five-minute marker that Jade said. Still a very impressive match so far on her part. But I don't think Julia is out of this yet. Either way, I think she, I think she still has got a little bit of fight. And I think Jade still got a lot to show her. Good counter there. Oh, big boot. Oh, she picked up Jade. Oh, goes right into a submission. I think this is her way to win this, is, is a, a submission. She's got Jade stuck in here. Oh, no. Nope. She can't hold on. And she's doing it. She's out. Oh. I I just don't know. I think she's just making Jade angry. Superstars on fire. Pace begins to quicken. On fire. And that champ looking to end this. Here we go. One. Two. And Julia kicks out. Now you make a Jade angry by, by by getting out of all this. It still could work. Oh, never mind. One, two, three. Jade Targo retains and annihilates Julia Hart right now. See her retain her belt. Another successful defense of her title. Last match of the night. We have Malachi Black versus Reaper. Four, oh, Malachi goes right after him. Four the world title. Brody King on the sideline. Showing a little bit of uh, support over here. Malachi had a very impressive win last week against Reaper. Gave him this opportunity. But I, I don't think uh, Reaper's going to let this title go down. He's held it ever since he won the Battle Royale and got there. I'm just going right into his mouth with that. I think they're both kind of have like a similar fighting style and just a certain aggression to both of their moves. That's why these make these matches so entertaining between the two. That's what we're going to do here. It's out pretty easily, luckily. Malachi trying to get this title, like, collection. Julia Hart didn't get the women's title, though. And maybe she'll have an opportunity at some point, maybe for another, you know, another opportunity. But I don't know if she wants to fight Jade anytime soon. I think out of all, across all the brands, I think Jade's defended her title the most. I could be wrong with that. Maybe, maybe I am wrong with that because I was just thinking I'm like, she's definitely had matches, but I don't think they were title matches. I know she defended against Akira and Reina, and then now Julia, but I, I don't know if that's the most. What are we about to see? Oh, knee right to the hand. The Reapers uh, defended it against quite a few people, too. Oh, he knew what was coming. Kicking his leg. And with Mercedes uh, oh. losing the title on the, the YouTube brand the, the other day, yeah, I think it only risky. leaves. Um, John Moxley and Jade Cargill as hard girl feel as the only two original champions of, of each brand. Because Reaper running from his Battle Royale win from week one. And then Cheetah beat 
Mercedes last week for the title. Just punched him right in the mouth. She also became the, the, the first two title holder. She's also the women's tag team title over there. Slams him over here into this thing. We know this corner of hell. Oh, Malachi misses there, though. He kicks him out of that corner. We know we got to see it without. Malachi gets back in. Reaper gets back in. Knocks him down, though. Is that going to be a pin? One. Two. This Reaper's like masked, and we can never see what he's even, if he's if his light eyes are even up or what's going on in there. And Malachi gets to that top rope. Good for Reaper to get up. And Reaper moves out of the way. That's a good counter. Reaper needed that. He's looking to retain here. One, two, just two. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm, we've been debating on the tournament. If we do, we want to have champions in the tournament, or do we want to just have it as everybody else? Oh boy. Now for a I feel like it should be everybody else. Again, a third time. At least we can keep the tag team title people in, but I think the world title of women and men just should be immune to it. Look at this. Oh. One, two, just a two. Reaper was trying to retain there. Malachi's got to get to his feet and start working on this. I guess that would be the thing that we, if we exclude tur um, champions in this tournament. Oh, I think that might be it. One, two. Malachi gets out of it. If we, if we uh, get rid of the, the the champions and give them a, you know, a little bit of a break, that can make them fresh for the next pay per view. And not to mention, the next pay per view is kind of just. All space. random In and just a wheel, you know. Resourceful. It could be, uh, it could be an interesting go about it. Oh God! So I mean, winning this right here would be great for a Reaper. Hold on to your trophy and not have to worry about a whole tournament. Not that you don't want to show off, but you don't want to go through a, a tournament and get an early exit. That's like the main scary thing with some of these stars. Ooh, that kick was missed. Oh, and a big miss over there by Reaper. Two big misses by both of them. Um, Reaper's rolling out. You gonna jump out there? And for Reaper to get up. Knocks him down. To putting one's body on the line. Big knee to the face. I think Malachi needs to get him in there, and I think he needs to end it fast. He's got this advantage, and I think it's only going to be time until Reaper can counter back and, and do it. It's like you kind of have a, a window in a match sometimes, and I think this is Malachi's. Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. Malachi Black in the House of Black. Cement supremacy here on Twitch. I mean, it would be, at least in the men's division, it would be massive for them. Oh, I don't know if Reaper's going to be able to get out of this. I don't think he was ready for this. Is he going to hold on to this? I don't think he's going to get out oh, here. There he goes. About to say, there's no way he was gonna get to the road. Malachi goes right back into a counter. I think he's waiting for the ending here. You see the black mask? 
One, two. Wow, I was about to say we had a new champ. Another kick to the face. One, two, three. And that second kick did it. Malachi Black is our champion as the title will now change over to a brand new person. And that's, and that's it here for Twitch. Don't forget about this weekend's uh, New Japan event. And then we'll go back into our regular scheduled programming. Bye, guys.